to measure active range of motion for forearm pronation. The uh, patient is seated. The arm is uh, adducted at the shoulder. Elbow is placed in 90 degrees of elbow flexion and start in neutral uh, pronation supination. The goniometer is actually placed on its edge with this one so that the edge of the goniometer is placed on the dorsal distal forearm, pretty much just proximal to the ulnar head. The axis of the goniometer is in line with the long axis of the forearm. The stationary arm is simply placed vertical and the moving arm is basically pressed into the um, dorsum of the forearm so that it seats across both the radius and the ulna so that you can feel it seating across both bones. You don't want it angled one way or the other. If you just kind of push it in there, you'll feel it seat across both bones. So that's the starting position. And then if you'll turn your hand palm down, very good. Let's keep you at about 90 degrees. That'll make it easier to see. Um, same sort of a thing. On edge with the moving arm across both forearm bones, just proximal to the ulnar head. The axis is in line with that long axis of the forearm. And the uh, stationary arm is simply kept vertical. So you might want to eyeball that so that you can see that it's actually vertical. And in this case, we have pronation, active range of motion of 0 to 65 degrees. Substitu substitutions for this movement might include shoulder abduction to make it look like they got a little bit more or perhaps lateral flexion of the trunk to make it look like they have a little more pronation than they actually have.